Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you thrift haul number 32. Before I jump into the haul, I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that my YouTube channel is at 17,000 subscribers. It just blows my mind. I love sharing everything that I find with you guys. I love sharing DIYs with you guys, and I just love being connected with this YouTube community. If any of you guys are YouTubers, then you definitely understand what this community can be like and how it can help you and how it can help other people. And so I wanna say thank you all so much for always being so kind and so supportive. I love you guys with all of my heart, and I truly appreciate you, every single one of you. So thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers. If you would like to continue to help me grow my YouTube channel, things that you can do to help are like the video, and share the video. Sharing the video is really, really important. If you share the video with, with your friends and family, like on your Facebook, or share some of my posts on Instagram, it really helps to reach a, a wider audience. If you guys could do that, I would be so appreciative. Those are just a couple quick ways that you can help me grow my YouTube channel, and I would truly appreciate it. So today I would like to share with you some items that I found recently at the thrift store. Sorry guys, Finley's in here. What's up, little one? You wanna lay down and sit by me? We have a visitor here in the thrift haul. He saw a cat. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I don't know if I'm going to continue to share thrift hauls every single week. One reason is because garage sale season is coming up really soon. But another reason is Sean and I really would like to start saving some money. We have a big announcement coming up really soon. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, that, But we really need to be saving money. I'm going to do my best to share as many as I can with you guys. We just need to not spend as much money because we need to be saving money. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump into the haul. So the first items I would like to share with you came from the Salvation Army. And I love picking up books at the Salvation Army. You guys know that I find a lot of really great books at the Salvation Army. So the first one that I found is called the night before kindergarten I do a unit at school that's all about like back to school and at school and I love finding these like first day of school type books and I especially love them when they're about primary grades just because then the kids um, even if they're an older grade it's kind of like a good like book for vocabulary for our English language learners they're usually really rich with pictures and um, like school related words so I picked this up for 29 cents this one is called the work people do farmer and it seems to me that there's probably other books in this collection unfortunately I was only able to find the one but we do have a community workers unit at school um, in my in my ENL curriculum in my English as a new language curriculum so I thought this would be perfect for teaching the kids about the work of a farmer the next one and the last one that I got is Lily's purple plastic purse I love the Lily books in like Chester's way I love the books by Kevin Henkes I have a hard time saying that Kevin Henkes um, so I wanted to pick up this one because I'm pretty sure I don't have this one yet but even if I do it was only 29 cents and I could definitely gift it to a friend so those are all the books that I found. The next items I would like to share with you are our clothing and like shoes. So the first thing I'll just share with you is the pair of shoes that I found. I found these super cute sandals. I absolutely love these. They are the brand, they don't have a brand, oh yes they do. They are the brand, I can't tell. Something Craft Premier Collection made in Italy. And they're actually really, really comfortable. I thought they were nice because they're really pretty but they're also really comfortable too and I thought that they could be nice for wearing during the summer um, at an event like that's a little more dressy where you wouldn't want to just wear like plain old flip-flops so I picked these up they were $3.99 and pink and I believe that pink was half off that day then I picked up a lot of clothing and I have taken the tags off of some of the items so I apologize I can't remember the price for some of them but rest assured that all of these came from the Salvation Army. The first piece I shared with you guys on Instagram, I love this sweater. It's been kind of cold in New York for the past few days, like the, actually like the past week. It's been actually pretty chilly. And this sweater just really like hit the spot when I was looking for something um, cozy and warm at the Salvation Army. So this is from the brand Josie. And this is really, really comfy, really fuzzy knit sweater in gray. It is so comfortable. I've been wearing it so often over the past week. I love the pocket. It has like a really deep pocket and I love the line of it. So I've been wearing that a lot this week. Next item I'm really excited about. You guys know I'm, I'm obsessed with peplums. And the next item is this top. It's kind of interesting. Like I kind of think it's like a, I think it's a kind of unique piece. So it is this top. It's longer. It's almost like a tunic length but it has a, a different piece of material on the bottom with like the, the straight line across for like a peplum. And I really like how the top it, the top looks. So it has, it's almost like a halter top, but it crosses actually in the back, 
which I thought was a really interesting detail. And then I like it um, because it has elastic, like in the back, so it's kind of stretchy. So I just think it's a really interesting piece. It's from the brand Alice and UO, Alice and UO. Hmm. I don't know. Alice and UO is what it looks like. And I just think it's really pretty. I can see myself wearing it in the summer. This one, the price tag fell off. It was $2.99 and it was pink, so it was also half off, which makes it $1.50. The next piece I found is really pretty as well. I'm just going to say they're all really pretty. The next piece I found I really like. It definitely is a blast from the past, but it is this really pretty tealish greenish blue. It was $9.99 half off because it was pink. And I love it. It has buttons down the front and then it has uh, the gathering right here at like the waist and then the pockets. It actually, it's a dress. It actually doesn't hit me at the waist. It hits me like at my hips. And I just think it's kind of unique looking. I just think it's fun. And I really like the bright blue color. So for $5, you definitely couldn't pass that up. The next item, a lot of these items are like summer related. The next item is for the summer again. And I, I tried it on so it was inside out. And it is a really pretty coral pink maxi dress. It was not half off, it was $7.99 but I really, really like it. Um, it has no brand, but it's really pretty. And I'm definitely gonna have to wear something underneath it, like a body shaper or something, because it's super uh, see-through. But really, really pretty. It's just the right length on me. Um, it looked like it would be kind of long, but my hips don't lie. And sometimes it's nice to have wide hips because then it just like fills out the rest of the dress. Um, but it has a slit in it. It's, oh, here's a brand. Nope. No brand, just says how to wash it. But it has a slit up the side, not too high. Um, but I think it's really pretty. I think it could be really pretty for like a night outing, you know, or something. Like maybe at the beach or something. Um, so I picked that up as well. The next item is this really cute like daisy dress. And I really like this dress. It's from the brand Buy and Buy. Buy Heart Buy. I think and I like the style I like I don't know how you would call it I don't know what the word would be for it but I like how it's like really flowy on the top and then it's got a cinched waist with elastic I don't know why like I like the spaghetti strap look um, with like the pointed top to the neckline I think it's really flattering the next one is a project I have a project in mind for this and we'll see if I can do it who knows um, Velvet is super popular right now as many of you know like velvet is super on trend and I feel like I'm way ahead of that trend because pageant girls have been wearing velvet forever because velvet looks amazing on the body. There's nothing like a velvet dress on stage. It's absolutely stunning and I found this velvet dress at the Goodwill. No at the Salvation Army and I want to like hack it apart and make it into something new. So my goal is to hack this dress apart with the help of my mom because my mom's an amazing seamstress. So it is this plain black velvet dress. It doesn't look like too much with me just like holding it, but it has a lot of really great features. So it's this longer velvet dress. It's not floor length. Like, see, look how look how pretty the velvet is. It goes to probably like my mid shin right now at this point. It is too big for me, like too long and too big for me. So my my goal, my my thought process with this is to possibly like hack off the sleeves, but I want to keep the collar and I want to just hack it off like that and then cinch it because it is too big and probably that might be all I want to do to it it is a little long on me but I think with the right heel it could look really nice I just love it it's from the brand Coldwater Creek who would who would have thought Coldwater Creek but I just think it has like a lot of really pretty features then I want to show you my favorite piece I am so excited about this piece guys I can't wait to wear this like Sean doesn't really like it but I think it's really pretty this is an absolutely gorgeous dress okay First of all, it has my favorite kind of neckline, thin spaghetti straps, and then a V, like a V neck, like a V neck top. And then it has brown, like material on the bottom. And this one goes to right below my knees. This is so pretty. The only thing is, I definitely will need to wear a slip under it because it is super like see-through, like I can see you guys. Um, so I will, I will need to wear a slip under it. It was $9.99, $5 half off, and I just think it's absolutely stunning. I can't wait to wear this in the summer. Now I'd like to share with you a couple pieces of houseware. I am super obsessed with these pieces that I found. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a few of them. So the first piece I want to share with you is this basket. Just a plain little basket. I was kind of inspired, I was inspired by Patricia Keel. I'm pretty sure she did it, um, to like paint half of it and like make it more modern looking. 
I thought this could be nice for having parties, for um, organizing like flatware, you know, rolling it up and sticking it in here. We had something like this at the hotel that I worked at, and I think that's part of the reason why I bought it. Um, I also thought this could be great for organizing our controllers underneath our, um, like our coffee table, because right now they're kind of just sitting all over the place, and this is the perfect size to go underneath there, so it might be used for that too. I'm not quite sure what I want to use it for yet. It was $2.99, and I know that, that this was not half off, unfortunately, but I thought this was a good buy anyway. Last items that I would like to share with you I am so excited about. These last items I found at the Salvation Army on Wednesday on Family Day and you guys know I'm obsessed with melt glass. I love everything melt glass. If you follow me on Instagram you already saw these. They are absolutely amazing. Aren't these amazing? So right here they have a spot for the cup that fits in with it. I have all the cups and all the plates. I love this like design on the side, this little like hatch mark, hash marks. I love these little like lines on the side. I think it's really pretty. And then, sorry, I'm like right up on the camera. And then I love the back. It has this really pretty dotted look. On the back it says heat proof. And then it has an F and it says USA. I don't know what that sign means. Does anybody know? Leave me a comment below if you do. I haven't done a lot of research on it yet. But, oh, and here's the cup so you can see the cup. And then the cup matches the same pattern as the plates. I just think it's so cute. And look, there it is together. I love it. I absolutely love it. I want to put like a scone on that side and then put coffee on that side. I just think it's really cute. I hadn't seen anything like this at the thrift store. Um, they were $4.99 for the set. But then I got it half off because it was 50% uh, off that day on blue. So... I got them each for $2.50, which I think is a great price. Well, that's it for thrift haul number 32. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!